Today I'd like to do a product review and some taste testing of the new Mountain House flavors for 2015 to see if any of them would make good additions to my food module in my bug out bag. So for the entrees, we have two new ones. We have the Italian style pepper steak with rice and tomatoes. We also have the chicken fried rice. And then for the breakfast items, we have three new ones. We have the pre-cooked scrambled eggs, pre-cooked scrambled eggs with bacon in the pro pack. And then in another pro pack, we have the breakfast skillet, which includes hash browns, uh, scrambled eggs, uh, sausage patty, peppers, and onions. For this particular video, we're gonna use several different stoves. I have them back here for boiling the water and just have some fun. So let's get started now with this video featuring the new Mountain House flavors for 2015. Since it's early in the morning, let's start off first with the scrambled eggs. I brought some Tabasco salt and salt and pepper just in case I uh, needed it for any kind of flavor. I'm going to include all the uh, nutritional information and the product descriptions in the description box below if you want all of the specifics on that. So let me get started with some boiling some water. I'm using the Snow Peak Gigapower stove for boiling this water in addition with the Snow Peak Titanium Pot. While that water is boiling, let's take a quick look inside. Kind of looks like uh, cheese curds almost. So this is the one with the bacon there. You can see little bits of bacon in the bottom there. And then we have the pre-cooked scrambled eggs. It also has that cheese curd look to it. Make sure you check out, take out the ox oxygen absorbers, of course. All right, we have a nice boil going now. So let's add that boiling water very carefully to the Mountain House packets. All right, there's the scrambled eggs. Let's seal that one up. All right, it's been five to six minutes. So let's strain the excess water and then enjoy our breakfast. All right, here's a look inside the scrambled eggs. A little watery on the bottom, but it looks, it looks like it kind of clumped up a little bit. And then here's a look at the scrambled eggs with the bacon. That looks pretty good, huh? Yum, yum. All right, let's try it out. All right, here's Kid Prepper's dish. The scrambled eggs, you want salt and pepper on that or just, just normal? I like salt. Okay, let's, uh, let's yeah, let it cool yeah. down just a little bit more. Salt. All right, Kid salt? Prepper's gonna try the first bite of the scrambled eggs, you ready? Yep, yep. All right, let's do it. Put a little salt on there. Good. Well, what do you think? It tastes good? You would eat that? Mm -hmm. You're going to eat all that? Maybe you. Nice. Yeah, that's good. All right, I just tried a little bit of the scrambled eggs, just the plain ones. Uh, the, the flavor tastes good. I think that the texture is a little... Um, powdery almost. YouTube have a taste. Yeah, you want to have YouTube taste? All right, here you go, YouTube. Here's your breakfast. Yeah, not YouTube. Uh, Flavor-wise, it's good. Yeah, it's just a kind of a more powdery, I think, especially when you compare it to something like the Ova Easy, Ova Easy Eggs, uh, which I think may, might be a little bit more authentic. But the flavor-wise, it tastes pretty good, and especially if Kid Prepper will eat it, you know it has to be decent, right? All right, now let's try out the scrambled eggs with bacon. As you can see, it has some little bits of uh, bacon chunks in there. You ready to try it? Here, how are you doing, YouTube? There you go. All right, <laughs> okay. first bite, a kid prepper. What do you think? Good, you like the bacon better or just the scrambled eggs? All right, so I'm gonna try one more bite of the bacon one before saying what I think of it. This is a very strong bacon flavor to it. Uh, you don't really need to add any kind of seasoning to it. If anything, maybe some Tabasco sauce would be nice. Uh, but just as is, I don't think like salt and pepper is as needed with it. Uh, the bacon, you know, texture is kind of, you know, because it's kind of boiled, it's kind of a, I don't know, almost like a, like a ground beef type texture to it. Uh, it it's, the ba it's kind of has that backpacking type flavor to it. So, you know, not as good as a home cooked, uh, you know, scrambled eggs and bacon meal. Uh, but on a hike, I think it would be, you know, quite a hearty meal. All right, so let's continue testing the other flavors. I think for these breakfast ones, I, I think I prefer just the plain scrambled eggs. I think if you paired them with some kind of granola breakfast item in the morning, it would probably be what I'd prefer, have a little Tabasco sauce with that and maybe a granola bar or uh, some oatmeal. Uh, the bacon flavor is also a nice hearty one if you just wanted it all in one meal. Uh, the bacon texture is a little on the mushy side, but you kind of expect that if you're boiling it. Uh, I thought it was a little bit uh, cumbersome to you know strain all the water in there. Even though I was trying to be very safe with it, it's still, you know, you could kind of get boiling water on you. So definitely I wouldn't want a kid uh, using that unless they had a, a proper strainer. So let's uh, go have some adventures and uh, continue eating the rest of the Mountain House food. Right? Hey guys, quack noise, YouTube. I do hear it. Where is it? Yeah. What? 
Now let's find a picnic table and try out the chicken fried rice. All right, expires 2026, so we should be good to go. All right, so it looks like we're gonna need one and a half cups of boiling water, which equates to uh, 12 ounces. So we'll just use a little measuring in there. All right, here's what the chicken fried rice looks like before water. Check it out, man. All right, the MSR wind boiler boils things really fast. It has a very efficient kind of all-in-one system similar to the jet boil. Uh, but this one protects uh, wind a lot better than the jet boil does. So if you're familiar with that brand, uh, this is another really good option that helps protect against wind. Yes. <laughs> okay, after a few minutes, we have a really nice boil going. Can I see what it looks like? Yeah, you can. All right, so that's what it looks like. Stir it up a little bit. What do you think? Can you see? Yeah. All right, let's seal it up. All right, it's been around 10 minutes. Let's open it up now and try it out. All right, there it is after 10 minutes. What do you think, dude? Yum. All right, so it's kind of hot, but we'll, we'll blow on it and let's uh, try it out. Okay? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, too hot? What do you think? Yummy? Uh -huh. Let me try this. Can I try a little? Oh, do a little bit. All right, there we go. Hey, it tastes pretty good, huh? Let YouTube have a taste. You have YouTube have a taste? Yeah. Okay, let's see. See if I can feed YouTube. All right, here we go, YouTube. Open up. Here comes the jet. All right, YouTube, here it comes. Mmm. Actually, the flavor is kind of real spot on, kind of, well, not spot on, but it has that uh, chicken fried rice kind of flavor to it, not really the texture, as you'd probably expect, you know. The individual you know, grains of rice aren't really, you know, they're kind of a little bit runny, but the flavor-wise, it tastes really good. Do you agree? If Kid Prepper's eating it, you know it's going to be pretty tasty. All right, Kid Prepper's really liking it so far, right? It tastes good. What do you think of the taste? It tastes like chicken. Yes, it does. That's because it is chicken fried rice. Looks like we got a little bit of carrots in there, some nice big uh, pieces of egg, uh, peas. some peas, little pieces of uh, chicken, looks like some red peppers as well. Are you seeing anything else in yours? I mean, look at that big piece, those big pieces of egg. That's awesome. I'm eating some red peppers and I like it. You do? Good. Yes. Yeah, man, this is really, it's really good. It's really tasty. I wouldn't add any kind of a seasoning to it, actually, at all, unless you really wanted some kind of spiciness to it, right? But you don't like spicy, right? I don't like salt and pepper. Okay. All right, we're going to enjoy our lunch now. This is great. All right, so I finished mine up. It was pretty great. So texture-wise, it's a little runny, but uh, that's expected. But the flavor it tastes really nice. What do you think? You like the flavor? Do you like the vegetables? And the chicken and the eggs and everything in there? Show his What's that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now let's try out the Pro Pack breakfast skillet, which has hash browns, scrambled eggs, pork sausage patty, peppers, and onions. And to boil the water, we're gonna use the GSI Outdoors cup, which nests really well with the Nalgene water bottle, as well as the Bushcraft Essentials uh, Bush Box, which is a classable a stove. So let's get started now with the breakfast skillet. I have a single S-bit fuel tab in there for boiling the water. Here's what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, it has nice big chunks of egg, has some sausage bits in there, as well as the vegetables. All right, we've got a pretty good boil going on right now, so let's add the water to the Pro Pack. All right, it's been around eight to nine minutes, so let's open it up and try it out. All right, this one has nice flavor too. It's kind of mushy, uh, especially on the potato side. It has nice chunks of uh, vegetables in it. I wish they were a little larger uh, for my preference. Uh, the sausage has a good flavor to it. Out of uh, the, the three different breakfast ones that I've tried so far, and this is uh, definitely my favorite. It just seems like a very hearty meal uh, with those hash browns in there, with the veggies, with the sausage. Sausage has a, a decent taste to it. Uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good. 
All right, the breakfast skillet is by far my favorite of the new breakfast items for 2015 with Mountain House. It's very hearty. The hash browns make it a filling breakfast. Uh, the scrambled eggs don't have that uh, powdery taste to them as just the scrambled eggs do because they're mixed with other ingredients. Uh, the pork sausage tastes really nice. Uh, the vegetables in there. It, it's just a really hearty breakfast. I add a little Tabasco sauce and you're good to go on the trail. Also for emergency backpacks since it has that extremely long uh, shelf life. This doesn't expire until 2026. So yeah, this is a great breakfast. I really like this one. All right, we're at a little family picnic right now on the beach, so we're going to try out the Italian style pepper steak with rice and tomatoes. So to boil up the water, we're going to be using the D-Power stove, which you see here. It's a budget-friendly stove. It costs anywhere between $17 and $20. I've been testing it for the past several months now. It's been working very well uh, for me. I uh, expect a product review on that shortly. We're going to be using the Snow Peak titanium pot and some smart water. So let's get started now with the Italian style pepper steak. You ready? All right, we have the water boiling now with the D-Power stove. The nice thing about the stove is that it has a very low center of gravity, so it's not as tippy as some of the other stoves uh, that actually sit on top of the canister, uh, like the MSR Pocket Rocket, for example. Uh, so that's a nice feature on this inexpensive stove. So let's open up the Italian-style pepper steak and see what it looks like. All right, so I have it opened up. You can see it has nice big chunks of food in there. Uh, looks like a, that's the steak, the, the brown pieces there, and then we have the, the rice chunks. It looks like in some kind of tomato base. All right, so I got it up to a nice boil. Let's add it into the packaging. All right, so I added the water. Let me stir it up really quick. All right, now we're gonna let it sit for eight to nine minutes and then we'll try it out. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, so let's open it up really quick. Check it out. Okay, looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. Let's stir it a little. All right, flavor-wise, this is really good, especially for if you're going uh, hiking or backpacking, anything like this. This would be a really nice meal. As you can see, it has nice little chunks of uh, green pepper in there. Uh, the tomato and green peppers taste really, really good. Uh, even the steak, it doesn't have a, a funky texture to me. It tastes pretty good. I mean, it's not like a, you know, like it would be if you were making it from scratch at home. Uh, it has some little pieces of onion, I think, in there. And uh, the rice, the kernel, the grains of rice taste really nice. So, yeah, all in all, the flavor is really good. It has, definitely has a pepper flavor to it. I don't feel like I need to add any kind of salt. Uh, so I think this is kind of a grab and go thing, you know, add the water into it, uh, just eat it up just as is and make a real hearty meal. So I really like this one, especially in the comparison to other Mountain House flavors that I've tried. Wait. Okay, we have one of Kid Prepper's cousins here. She's gonna try a little bit of it. You ready? Okay, no fart noises. <laughs> okay. Here, let's try it with a little bit of the steak. Can you? Okay, there you go. Help me with Ready? What do you think? Can you get some? Is it good? It is? <laughs> Alright, now Kid Prepper's gonna try it. You ready? Okay, good. Alright, what do you think? Okay. What do you think of the taste? It's good? You'd eat that? You want to try some more? You like it? What do you think of it? I stole it. I stole the spoon. What's it taste like? Um, the same thing. Like what? The same thing. The same thing? Okay. Good. All right, now we have Aunt Cindy. She's going to be trying it out for the first time. The first steak. Yep. Okay, let me see. Look, it smells good. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah! How's the flavor wise? Does it need anything added? No! Do you want to try it? Mmm! Want to give it a it's shot? Good. good! I yeah, thought it was, it, I thought it was really good. Yeah, it has really big chunks of meat in it. Yeah, it does. Wow! Now you I want another it. bite? Mm. You can try it if you want. You want to try a bite? Here, come here. Tell me what you think. No. What do you think? What do you think? Good. Awesome, Thumbs huh? up. Thumbs up. Ah, yeah. I'd even eat this like if you just served it to me in a bowl and you tell me you made it. Awesome. That's yeah. a good sign. Mm, mm, mm. It's, you're not under contract to do this, right? That's why. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video featuring the new Mountain House flavors for 2015. Again, we have the chicken fried rice, the scrambled eggs, the scrambled eggs with bacon, and then the girls are enjoying the Italian style pepper steak. So as you can see, they're kid tested, prepper approved. So please feel free to leave any kind of comments below in the comment section. And thanks for watching this video featuring Mountain House. See ya.